world of YouTube out you here. We're at a graveyard in Marlboro, Mass. Thanks to looking through some videos, I came across this. Probably one of the first burial grounds in Marlboro. Maybe second. What caught my eye and interest at this place, which is in the common of the town. It's called the Old Common Cemetery. Literally, they have here a uh, praying Indian trying to find his stone. Pay some much respect. But this place. Oh, wow. <laughs> My phone's freezing up. Must have some good energy. As always, when I come to these places that are haunted, especially with Indians laying here, which I don't know what other Indians think of it, but when praying Indians didn't get buried in their regular ritual ways, and that would be at the spot or in their uh, dwellings of living, they would always have a pile of rocks and such forth they are placed upon their burial. Kind of stinks though, because they always would be buried right where they died. But this why people call them praying Indians back then, of course, is due to the fact that uh, Indians converted to the English ways and left their old traditional ways. And, uh, Therefore, left there. I don't know if that was it. I don't know where it was in the video I watched, but there's a video up if you look up for Marble Mass. I forget that. It's the town of Marble, I believe. Someone came here with them and did a video. I forget the channel, but. Anyways, breaking their traditions. Had to come here and pay some respect. Forests, I believe, are Indian burial grounds because they have stones literally piled up into a cone shape. But this one literally had his own stone, but granite square. But I don't see it. What the hell? Anyway, the story of this building is something the person who built it, I believe, is in stuff here wandering. There are some apparitions. There's got to be something here right now because I'm looking in my phone and my phone's freezing up. But as usual, what I do when I come to anywhere they say or claim, this don't even have a name on it, with any type of Indians right over here by this tree. Indians used to sit on the trees like King Philip in the King Philip War. I actually have a uh, book that shows a tree that he sat under in Massachusetts. I forget where it is, but they would always talk and go about what they were doing or in the war. It's always I take my Indian style sitting, which would be crisscross applesauce and throw up my right hand as if that's how Indians would say peace and hello. Take a moment of silence for all the lost ones in here, too. That's what I like to do, respectful of the dead. Sit here for a moment. Very peaceful. Every time I come into a cemetery, it's like the traffic around me disappears sometimes. You don't get much noise. To me, if anybody was to ask me, if there are heaven and hell. Hell is out there in the world that you see beyond these streets. Heaven would be here in my eyes in this graveyard. But you, I'm going to see what I can do to get back here at night. be a perfect place. Hopefully I don't get harassed, but try out my night vision. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to take some pictures around here too.
I can't find that damn stone. And what? But from what I see, it was like that square's yeah, smaller and in the rock, and my freaking phone keeps freezing up for some reason. Something's gotta be here. But I can't. It stinks. As you can see, this is an old one, boy. These stones back then are pure slate. And that's what they would do, take slate in 1700s. Damn, I can't believe I can't find that stone. Be my luck. Seventy-five. I wonder if it's in the kitchen for the poor. Oh, sorry, that was 1675. 70, oh, that was a revolutionary war. That's what I'm thinking of. That's pretty funny, too, if you think about it. Revolutionary war started. So what the hell is that? I cannot seem to find the stone. Curse you. This is a nice peaceful cemetery anyways. Of course, being near a building that's haunted. <laughs> I'd love getting there. There's another couple, few places out of that video I gotta go to too. There's actually a pond out here that I gotta look for. Supposedly a man committed suicide. And his body, I mean his spirit, roams around the shore. In winter time, you see him on the ice or something, so I have to look that up again. Uh, but I wanted to get here first, but I gotta look that one up and see where it is. A lot of things in my role that people don't know of, I guess. It's starting to come out though. I didn't take a screenshot of that either, but from what I can remember, damn it, that stinks. And of course, you got the scumbags in here. Now, I like to mention that about people. People, scumbags, coming in here thinking, pushing a big stone over like a big man is a big thing. Pushing something that ain't even going to push you back. You know, that's ridiculous. How about keep your asses out of here? You think you're a big man because you push a stupid piece of granite over? I pushed a two-yard dumpster over, full. You see me friggin' making a big stink of it? And then you're disrespecting the dead? That's sick. Sick. If I ever sketch anybody from pushing a stone over, I'll be gladly to come up and knock them in their skull. Hold them till the police come. <laughs> Scumbags. Other than that, I gotta get out of here. Cause I'm not finding a damn stone. I gotta go look it up again and see what the hell. I don't know if they made me. I don't know. I forgot how old that video was. Maybe the Indians came by and swiped them up and gave them their own proper burial. What the hell is that? That's a, not a great burial. Hair broken to hell. It's disgusting. I can't stand seeing that crap. Ah, well. At least I got here. And getting here at night is another thing. <laughs> I want to come here with this night vision. Awesome. Can't wait. Lately, though, it's been too damn cold. Now my finger freaking tips are cold right now. Jesus. Almighty. Eh, yeah, well, I'll get out of here and I'm gonna see what I can do in that building. Right there. I'm gonna sleep. Be safe, take care. And stop disrespecting the dead. And come knocking over stones. Other than that, out.